my name is Tommaso Juker. I'm a PhD student in forest ecology and conservation, working in the Department of Plant Sciences at the University of Cambridge. My role within Fund of Europe is uh, related to working on how above ground wood production relates to diversity in the European forests. So for doing this we're working in the exploratory platform and we're using wood cores to reconstruct the growth of, of trees and therefore relating that to diversity and species composition in these forests. Globally forests uh, are a major carbon sink so they sequester uh, CO2 from the atmosphere and this provides a, a very valuable ecosystem service uh, uh, worldwide. So there are several reasons why, uh, why some forests are more productive than others. For example, climate or nutrient availability or disturbance. But recent research is, is found that uh, diversity also has a very important uh, uh, impact on how productive forests are. The problem is that we still don't know exactly why this is. Uh, so we're trying to figure out the mechanisms driving this positive relationship between diversity and above ground wood production. Several mechanisms have, have been proposed uh, to explain why diverse forests might be more productive uh, than monocultures. One of these uh, complementarity effects is particularly intuitive. Essentially complementarity effects uh, say that if you mix species with contrasting uh, ecological traits, these species will use resources more efficiently and at the same time it will reduce competition between individual trees. Both of these aspects can be very important in driving uh, forest productivity. So our goal within our task is to try and understand uh, whether these complementarity effects uh, are responsible for the positive relationship that we are finding in forests worldwide. To give you an example of this, uh, uh, if you mix uh, a, a very light demanding species uh, with a species which is able to tolerate shade, these species will create a stratified canopy and in together will absorb more light and will be able to grow faster than if you were mixing them with the same species together. Currently we are working uh, a lot in Mediterranean forests uh, to set up uh, some of the, uh, test some of the hypotheses that we, uh, that we are trying to, to address. So the reason why Mediterranean forests are a good study system uh, for this type of question is that they are characterized by species that are very contrasting. So they tend to be uh, dominated by pines which are very tall, uh, have very narrow crowns and very shallow roots. And they, on the other side, they also present oaks, which are instead much shorter, but have larger crowns, are able to intercept more light and have deeper root systems. So these two uh, types of species have, as I said, contrasting uh, ecological strategies, uh, which, which essentially translates into the fact that pines are very demanding of, of light. They need lots of light to grow, uh, whereas oaks are able to tolerate lots of shade and are able to grow underneath pines quite comfortably. So what we are trying to now understand is whether uh, the growth of these two, two species is improved when we mix them together. There are several ways in which we can characterize how trees are growing. Uh, one of them, the one we are using, is, is wood cores. So essentially wood cores consist of taking uh, a cross section of a tree with a tree borer which uh, cores into, into the tree and from this we can, we can count the tree rings uh, which the tree deposits every year. Now by measuring the distance between uh, individual uh, yearly growths, we can get a measure of how fast trees are growing. And then we can compare this between trees that are growing in mixture uh, amongst different, different species or when they're growing in monoculture. So this is the method that we're using to quantify tree growth. We found that pines grow much, much faster when they're mixed with oaks. Uh, to give you a, a measure of this, they're growing more than 200% faster uh, when mixed with oaks compared to monocultures. In contrast, oaks are, are responding somewhat similarly, but this is expected because they're uh, responding to the increased shade uh, of pines. When we, when we uh, build this up to the level of, of the plot, of the stand, we're finding that uh, mixed, uh, mixed species plots are 50% more productive each year compared to, compared to monocultures. Now this has real implications in terms of, of forest management and it suggests that uh, Ma attempts to manage uh, Spanish forests uh, should, uh, should definitely consider the possibility of managing mixed pine oak forests for, for future carbon gains. 